Okay, we're back. It's Caveman. Forrest. We're going to do a little bit of ground stuff today. We're going to get down, get on the ground, do a little bit of jiu-jitsu. It's Saturday. It's normally the day we do jiu-jitsu. So we're going to get on the ground, do a little bit of jiu-jitsu. You know, when you're talking to kids, you got to talk to them. That's actually the worst thing that you can do when you're working with your kids. You want to treat your kids just like they're uh, adults. Kids aren't dumb. They just don't have a lot of experience yet. So make sure when you're working with your kids that you treat them like real people, right? I just want to thank everyone that's watching these videos. I know Emmett and Aurora. You guys have been watching. I saw you guys do some of the kickboxing. Hopefully it works a little bit better for you. My uh, advice for you is just like when I'm shooting these videos, I stick my dog outside. I would put the dog outside or in another room. So when you're trying to hit the pads, the dog isn't like nosing you and trying to hit the pads. Looks like it's a little jealous of mom holding the pads as the dog's trying to get some training in too. Actually, the dog looked kind of better than you, Aurora. You better get with it, all right? Emmett, you look great. Good work. Uh, I want to give a big shout out to Harper Knox. Harper uh, started watching these videos yesterday. Hopefully, she is training and practicing everything that we've shown. And definitely get on this one, Harper. You can get your dad over, no problem at all. So today, we're going to work on hip bump sweep. And we're going to work on the shark bite. Between the two of those, we can make a cool little drill that we can do. So a couple techniques that we're going to have to be able to do to do these techniques. All right, so some of the techniques that we're going to need today is we're going to need to be able to do our bridge and then a little bit of a upa, all right? So I'm going to bridge. When I bridge, I want to go up on my shoulders. So I'm bringing my hips up off the mat and my shoulders going into the ground. I don't want to do like the wrestling bridge where I'm coming up on my head. So if your dad's done doing a lot of wrestling and you hear bridge and you think this is not exactly what we want, all right? If we're wrestling, we pin ourselves. That's the kind of bridge I'm looking for, right? So I'm gonna bring my feet to my butt. I wanna come up and bring my shoulders into the mat like I'm trying to pin myself if I was wrestling, all right? That's a bridge we're gonna need. And then we're gonna to have to be able to turn with that or oopa over. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up to our shoulder. I'm gonna bridge up and I'm gonna come this way. And then we're just gonna bring our feet through and we're gonna be able to come up on top. So one more time, I'm just gonna bridge my butt off the mat, bring my arm across, right to here. Super simple. All right, the other technique we're gonna have to be able to do is we're gonna have to do a high leg over. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be here, I'm gonna be up on both my feet, my butt is off the mat. I'm gonna take this leg, I'm gonna bring it up and come through. That's what we're gonna do to finish our sweep later on. So I'm going to be here, my butt's going to come up off the mat, my high leg's going to come over, and I'm going to finish on all fours. Make sure that your kids can do that before we move on. Alright, so this technique is called the hip bump sweep, and we're going to start from guard. Guard means I'm going to have my legs locked around Forrest's waist, and it's a control position. It's a position where he can't get on top and really punch me. I can use my legs and hips to control him. So he's going to be inside my guard. I'm going to have my legs wrapped, wrapped around his waist. Uh, I always tell my kids never to be like Forrest is right now, but he's doing this for the drill. Uh, we should never have our hands down here on the mat. Anytime you have the hands on the mat, you're susceptible to the move I'm going to show right now, and millions and millions of moves more. So we always, when we're grappling, we want to have our hands on my opponent's body. All right, I'm going to show you how to get your hands from here to here in a minute, but I'm going to show the technique first. All right, Forrest is going to have his hands on the mat because he's a terrible grappler. That's not true. Well, maybe just a little bit. He used to be good, but he doesn't really grapple that much anymore. But that's okay. We're going to get him back on the mat. This is going to get him back into jiu-jitsu. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my stinky armpit and I'm going to make sure I go across his face. So one more time, I'm going to take my arm and go across his face because a lot of times kids just come here and they hug and they grab the head. That's not what I want to do. I always tell the kids to smell the armpit so we get the arm from this side of the head to the other side of the head so we're all on one side so i'm gonna take my arm i'm gonna stick it up in his face <coughs> oh that stinks oh, oh. i'm sorry I, I forgot to put my deodorant on i'll put it on right now usually the kids are the stinky ones sorry forrest All right, so one, one more time. I want to take my, ah, now my armpit that smells good, and I'm going to take it across his face. 
When I sit up, I don't want to be on my elbow like I am right now. This is a mistake I see a lot. So when I sit up, I want to come all the way up to my hand. All right. So when I go, I want to make sure that I'm going to get my armpit over, over his face like we just said. I want to make sure I get up on it. Boom. I want to be all the way up on my arm. If I can, I'm going to keep my guard locked as I get up there. Sometimes some of our parents are going to be a little bit extra round and we're not going to quite be able to get our feet locked around. If uh, you're a little bit too big for your um, son or daughter and you can't get it quite locked, that's okay. As long as we get up to here, all right? But ideally, we want our guard close to here so he can't get away. Once I get over to here, I want to control my opponent's arm. I like to be right here on the elbow. You can bring it in. You can be up a little bit higher, depending on what you're going to do, all right? Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get up and I'm going to sit on Santa's lap is what I call it. So I want to go, whatever side my arm is on, I'm going to put my butt on the opposite side of his hip. This is called the hip bump sweep. So this is where that hip bump comes from. But so you can get the kids to understand where the hip should go, I tell them to sit on the leg like it's Santa's lap. So we're going to be sitting on the leg like just like a Santa's lap. And before we go, I tell the kids to always come up on the Santa's lap. And then you're going to tell Santa what you want. So I want a pony, I want a PlayStation 5, and I want an Xbox. All right. Now I'm going to control the arm. And I'm just going to step that leg over like we did earlier, that high leg over. I'm going to take force over, and I'm going to control the position. Good mount. Come right here. And the guard, come up, sit on Santa's lap, both feet on the mat. I'm going to high leg over. When I finish, both my hands go down on the mat. When I finish, both my hands go down on the mat, and I have a nice, solid mount position. All right, one more time. We're going to do it a little bit faster speed. Guard, sit up. Control the elbow. When I hip bump, um, I showed it as a static position where we just sit on Santa's lap and then go. But in reality, I use this hip to bump him back and get his weight back, just like Forrest is sitting back on his butt right now. And now I'm just gonna high leg over and finish him out, all right? So that hip is a weapon. It's not just where we sit on Santa's lap, although that, that teaches the kids to get the hip where it's supposed to be. When I'm up there, I'm gonna thrust my hip in, like I'm trying to knock him back. My goal, is to knock my opponent back so they're easy to sweep. All right, Force is gonna try it once. Oh boy, someone else didn't wear deodorant today. Ugh. Good. All right, we're gonna show one more detail, how to get the hands off of our waist when they're on our waist, okay? so. Forrest is going to be in my guard, hands around my waist, making a good frame, it's hard to move them. I'm just going to take my hands, I'm going to come underneath, I'm going to pop them off and pull with my hips. As he comes back to sit on his um, haunches like he should if he's playing a good guard, I'm going to come up. Now I have it, hip bump, step over, finish in mount. Not too bad, right? All right. Right, we're gonna get right on to the next one. The next one we're gonna do is we're gonna escape the mouth, the position we just ended in. All right, okay, so this time I'm gonna be down and force is gonna be on top in mouth, okay? So I'm gonna be down. Mount means force's knees are outside of my hips. I have no legs intertwined with him. All right, so this is a perfect position. Um, he should be down a little bit because if he's up, I have a lot of space to bump him and get down. We're just going to have it be right here. All right, perfect. I'm going to swim my arm underneath and come down over the top. This is what we call the shark bite. Ooh, ha, ha. All right, so my hands are outside. Wherever they're at, doesn't matter. I'm going to come inside of his arms, around to the outside, and I'm going to bite down. All right. When we do this, our partner should make sure that they grab our shoulders so we don't hurt them. I'm going to take this foot and lock his foot inside of here. All right. Force a little bit short, but my leg should be right here. 
stopping his foot from coming out and posting. This is gonna stop him from posting. I'm gonna arch up like I did earlier. I'm gonna just do my little oopa, my bridge. I want his head to come up over past my head. So when I roll, it's an easy roll. And I'm gonna come up on top. Right, so uh, if a guy can post his arm or post his leg, we call that base, all right? So he's got a little bit of base on that side. So he can post his arm or post his leg. Uh, I like to make the analogy like we're a table. So a table has four legs. So if force pushes my table, if force pushes my table, if force pushes my table, I'm really strong if I have four legs up, right? If I, oh, good job. If I have one arm up and he pushes the table, I'm still pretty solid as a table. Maybe pushing me a little bit, go ahead pushing me again, but I can poke this leg out. If I have two legs of the table gone and force pushes me, over I go. <laughs> Kids like that demonstration too. Try not to do too close to your TV or you're gonna fall down. Right into your TV, the TV's gonna fall on you and your wife's not gonna let you do jujitsu anymore. All right, so make sure that you're taking away both posts when we do this technique. This is called our shark bite. Forrest is gonna do it to me real quick. He's gonna be down. So Forrest is gonna be down. I'm gonna mount him. He's gonna shark bite me towards the camera. I'm gonna be here. He's gonna come up and over, control my arm. I'm gonna take this hand that he's controlling. I'm gonna grab his shoulder so it doesn't hurt me. He's got my foot locked in. He's going to bridge back. So my head comes over his head. Now I'm easier to roll and he's gonna take me right over. Perfect. All right, I apologize about the camera angles. We're gonna do this one a little bit better next time. We're gonna get a little bit different stand for the, the camera. But the next one we're gonna do, we're gonna put it all together. So I'm going to hip bump Sweet Forest, and then right away, he's gonna shark bite me. And we're gonna be right back in the same spot. So, oh, so I can go this way so I don't hurt you? Forrest has still got a bum leg. I can't sweep him this way. So we're here. Break the grips. Come up. Post my feet. Hip in. Sweep. Forrest is now going to control. Lock my leg. Bridge me up. Over I go. Sits up. Right away. I can go again. Boom. He can go again. Good. He comes back up on top. Swim. Roll. Come up. Sweep. Boom. And you can do this drill over and over again. But make sure that you switch sides with your, your child. So one time you're going to be doing a hip bump sweep and they're going to do the shark bite. The next time they're going to do the shark bite, you're going to do a hip bump sweep. Did I say that right? think so all right i think so too i'm not sure when i watch this and edit it i'll know for sure <laughs> um thank you guys for watching uh we're going to keep doing these every day tomorrow is going to be uh an integrity one so if you're watching tomorrow we're going to do cardio maybe how to get your wife to train with you when you're stuck at home so from caveman and Forrest, we're out of here thank you for your time Oos. train hard